Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Kindly consider to like this video. Give this video a thumb of like because it is a kind of job offer you are doing to our channel. And I want to appreciate to the new subscribers who turn in today and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much as you bother the simple to the members. And I want to appreciate members also because if it was not your support or effort, this channel could have not reached to where it is as of now. Thank you and be blessed. Please, I have realized that some of you are watching the video but they don't give a thumb of like. Please, like the video that you upload to our YouTube platform. It is not a demand but a request. And also share and give us your opinion. Remember your opinion, your ideas we interchange are very much important and we try to rectify the mistakes we've done when we analyzed or when I analyzed the politics. Thank you and feel blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to divert into the political news today. We must liberate ourselves against poor governors. That is the remarks which have come out from Jack Wamboka. As Wetangula Mdavadi are now on still hot soup, there's no one who is now running behind them as Wamboka is coming out clearly, bordering the same boat with George Natembea in the Western politics. Wamboka is saying that it is now time to stop the two tribes rulers and liberation must start with each and every individual. In this video, I'm going to display to you, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to form the basis of our analysis and we are going to find what might be the secret behind George uh, Natembea and Jack Wamboka on their attack to the leadership in the country and also performance from our leaders. Let's take a look and listen to this reaction or this video. Ile pesa naenda ngea marakwetu. Ile pesa naenda nandi. Ile pesa naenda kiambu. Wakikupatia waki uwezi ya tangali. Kwa mbana ile pesa nakuja hapa. Kila ya remzima unafanya recruitment. Kabila mbili. Iko na 60%. Paka kochi nasema jee huu ni ungwana. Hapana. Na unapaka mtu hapa na tuambia serikali yetu. Serikali gani ya mbali sisi tumekwa. Ingikuwa serikali yetu. Barabara zikikuwa zimekwama. Mzigo bridge bado yeye ndikuwa amekwama. Mzigo madoro ilikuwa imekwama. Kimaeti miyanga ilikuwa imekwama. Miyanga barakizi ilikuwa imekwama hapana. Porojo. Mshimo Ruto wacha kudanganya. Ndugu zetu wa Kikuyu na wa Kalenji, mtu ni mwamsho. Eh, wacha jamii zingine pia zichukue hiyo kitu. We are a country. I believe you've listened to Wamboka on whatever I say. There's something which must be done by leaders to stop discouraging the young politician to vie for any party in the country. The reason why I'm saying this is because that those leaders who are glutton and they don't want even to retire from any seat Assume you are MP and you've done your work 10 years. You've done nothing to the people in the constituency. Then you ought to retire. Or endorse someone whom you like, but I don't prefer endorsement. Because when you endorse someone, the, 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 the people in the society are going to say, this is his man. They want to eat the tax together. Jack Wamboka is coming with a very sad news here. And this sad news is coming from the video I've just displayed. Why do you think Jack Wamboka <laughs> is saying that liber uh, liberate, we must liberate ourselves against poor government? What was in his mind? Two tribes. 
Now the mayor is always saying this again. Do you think Jonathan Bear, when he vies for presidency, is it is he going to 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 to, to get easy? I'm very much sure and aware that Jack Wamboka and Natembea are discouraging Mtsali Mdavadi, Moses Wetangula, out from Western active politics. They are not, they, nowadays they are very vocal in Western. And in fact, Mudavadi should take it for serious. Likewise to Wetangula. So Jack Wamboka is saying that the government have again failed to deliver the promises which they made to Kenya. And the government should stop saying we, but they should prefer individually to ensure that they have fulfilled the promises and things are sorted out easily. And according to Jack Wamboka, it's making again the body to be no odd soup together with Wetabula. On this bombshell. <laughs> so we must stop this this kind of behavior and concentrate to ourselves and ensure that things things are done. But if not sorted out as we expect then we are going to mismanage our country when it's come to the development when it's come to making promises to our leaders the last month ago i said last month in fact i said that Kenya has 47 tribes. I think, I don't know if it is true. 45, 47. Let, let's, let's use it roughly. But we've been ruled by two tribes for many years. Jack Wamboka is saying that let's say enough to the two tribes. The big question here is that this should not be battle, but it should be giving. <laughs> when I say giving, as much as that leadership is not given, but taken by force. But we ought to learn and appreciate the life we've been given, led to each other, understand each other, and focused on various issues affecting our country. And that is whatever Jack Wamboka have said. He have not discriminated any person, but is calling upon Kenyans to wake up from the slumber and learn from a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this political bombshell we are seeing from Jack Wamboka? As this marks the end of analysis, kindly consider to watch this video, like this video, share and give us your opinion at the comment section below. If you never subscribe to our channel, kindly do me a favor, take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you subscribe, like this video, watch, share and give us your opinion. As I end this analysis at this point, thank you and be blessed.